Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a brand new set from Final Fantasy TCG, the Opus 19 From Nightmare set. Today is the, we had, you can see we have a pre-release box, and uh, we had our pre-release event here in Vegas. Had a decent turnout, and uh, I actually did okay for the absolute garbage deck I built. Went two and two. And actually managed to win with a deck out one time, so, uh, accomplishments? But, uh, as far as some of the pulls I got from the pre-release event, I got, did get a full art, full art lightning. And I did, I got a foil legend in the cola. Some of the cards I was really impressed with in the event, or that I played with, really like this Tonberry. Um... Mono Water, getting a, another really powerful monster is amazing. It, uh, just like Blue Worm, comes into play, draws a card. But, uh, it only becomes a 2k when you discard a card, but if it deals for damage to a forward, break it. Now, somebody can give a character first strike, or a forward first strike, and then Tom Berry just dies. But, really powerful monster, really impressed with it, able to control a lot of board states. Um, got some more water removal that I played with in the Clavat. Uh, Clavat is, uh, does similar to a Tomos. I mean, a Tomos you can pay with the crystal, but Clavat, your opponent, if you pay with CP of one, it has cycling, you draw, discard, and then, um, if you cast it with three or more different elements, your opponent puts one forward in the break zone. Similarly, there's a backup Yuna that does the same thing for your... So this gets around, um, you know, Titus, the Opus 16 Titus, that lets them, uh, if they're selected, they, uh, get three cards, go to the bottom of the deck, get three cards. You know, gets around things that have, can't be the target of spells or abilities. If they're the only forward, play a Yuna, and it goes, the opponent has to select it. Uh, Leviathan, very nice uh, to return to owner's hand. Can be very powerful, especially with things like, uh, you know, the Leviathan, Lord of the World. You know, anything that is looking for things to return. Is, you're going to play a forward for cheap, like an Ash. And then it'll be able, be able to clear the, the board. This uh, back attack, Sephiroth backup, very good. I know... Um, Opus 18, we had the forward back attack Sephiroth that did the exact same thing. Choose a dull forward, uh, break it. But this one does, because it does become cheaper for each point of damage. As you get further into the game, if somebody, if your opponent gets something out powerful and you have your, your you've received like four points of damage, a, a two cost come into play, break a dull forward, very powerful. Then uh, something I'm looking forward to see what we can do with. I've uh, got the um, Earthwater Maya, which uh, gives... Maya has Brave, and she gives all of your other category Mobius forwards 1k and Brave. So that's, um, you know, your Sophie, even though it's a one of your Sarah's. There's a number of Mobius characters that are very good. it would be interesting to see what you can do with this, and then also... It um, lets you play Mobius Tribals in uh, reveal five cards and grab two Mobius cards. So if you are playing Mobius Tribals, it uh, it actually can give you a little bit of card, some good card advantage. All right, so that's the discussion of things I've gotten so far. Let's uh, take a look at this pre-release kit and see what these nine packs have. Take a look at what's in the kit. Pre-release promo card is the Ark. Got the new Warrior of Light sleeves. And nine Run Nightmares packs. The uh, chase card in here is this uh, Cloud Carrying Kadaj. There's a Nomura Gold, Nomura Gold Foil autograph, just like the Yuffie in the last set.
Alright, so comments. Tara. Not too bad. Sophia. Janai. Uh, that one's good for control. Allows you to uh, choose a forward and dull it. So, good way to control combat. Saz. Didn't see that. Tifa's really nice. Uh, that has Brave and can attack twice in the same turn. Attack, attack, Kane. A Tonberry. We discussed that one earlier. Evry. Choose a backup for no cost. You can choose a backup control and activate it. So, there's um, a zoo that becomes a, another monster zoo that becomes a Ford whenever a character you control is activated. So, you could um, get free zoos every turn. Joseph. Uh, it's my first time seeing Joseph. Rare. Uh, Cat 2. Uh, Vincent. Freezing 3 backups when it comes into play. Not too bad. And it has an action ability. You can choose a character, freeze it. Very good. That Legend Ace in the first pack here. Uh, if you don't remove five fire cards, put Ace into break zone. But when he attacks, deal it deal 10k damage. That's a class zero cadet. Okay. And have a rare foil of knocked. Something comes into warp. Knock costs five less. And two character your one of your forwards and an opponent's forward fight each other. I can do the card trick every single one. Got a buddy. Search for 10 backups. So let you search for Riku or any other 10 backup. 10 got really good support. Uh, Larsa. Search for one cat. 12. Clean. Uh, if your opponent has one or less card in hand, search for one card. Alright. Not too bad. Do a little bit too um, situational. Too many. There's too many restrictions to it. Vaughn's, Vaughn here is pretty nice. A Fire Earth, 12. That uh, can deal a damage 5k, or you can uh, activate all your backups so you continue playing stuff. Deathlord actually was not too bad. It had a little bit of cost to it, but it comes out cheap. Then it can trade up for two characters in your break zone. For point of damage, but it trading up a little bit later on. Not a bad thing. Hero Barret. Um... Dealing 4k to all uh, forwards opponent control, not too bad. Great to be okay against wind, but most forwards that your opponents are playing are 5k or more. So you're going to have to ping and ping. So it's a little bit eh. Sophie's very good. Uh, Warper for one with chancers. You get to choose up to three actions depending on how many other forwards you have and you can break a monster you can activate all your backups so you know you play it the turn before you don't even have to use your uh you don't even have to doesn't count as a cast but you don't have to use your cp to get it in there but either way you, know, you can activate all your backups and then she can also she also get can get 2k in haste so Attack right, right then if you can uh, get the damage through. Weapons, weapons uh, look pretty nice. I don't know. There's Ruby, Ruby Emerald, and Sapphire. I got a Sapphire weapon, which uh, uh, if it goes to the break zone, draw two cards. And this Ruby weapon um, is a tank. If uh, if you're dealt damage, damage only becomes one k. That's any damage. That's combat damage. Doesn't matter what it is. So. Really nice, but it can only block. You can only block once, but it can t it can tank something. I go, I go, I don't know what that does. All right, and then we discuss Leviathan. Keep going. Got a behemoth. Uh, may pay one. Something cannot attack or block, and then you can make it a seven k per turn. Elgo, good card. Uh, grab a multi-element card back from your break zone. And, uh, Matoya, make a character 4k. Yeah. Uh, and then ping it. So, fire, earth, or fire, wind, 
Uh, make it a 4k, ping it with Grand Hilder. Nath, 5k to all forwards. Good way to... Uh... You know... Kind of clear the board? I don't know. Somewhat. Um... Another... Three, more, three CP or more, but this time it's 8k with Brave. Vincent comes in, deals 5k damage. Has a damage 3 straight up. The Gilgamesh here, the Warp 1. Um, then it comes in with Haste Brave. Either way, it comes in with Haste Brave if you want to pay the whole amount. But if you uh, have its uh, special, and there's quite a few Gilgamesh. There's a Gilgamesh last set, but I think that was... No, I think it was just Gilgamesh. Uh, you can uh, choose a forward and break it. I don't know if it has to be a 5. I think it just has to be card name Gilgamesh. Then have a Legend Yuna. Ooh. Legend Foil Yuna. My first time seeing this. So, give me that 3. When Yuna enters field, choose one forward opponent controls. It's equal to or less than number of category 10 characters. Put it at the top or bottom of both its own deck. Okay, so removal. Not... Okay, so if you have like five, ten characters out there, you can remove five cost or more. And that includes, includes Yuna. And then if it's damage five, you may search for a cat ten. So in addition, you get search for a cat, cat ten character played on the field. Very nice, Yuna. Good card. Maya, just earlier, Ramu, one of the, if a forward, it costs, it's essentially free. This one is a uh, forward three or less, deal 8k. Then we have our Rangers, our Cat 11 uh, Makis, the Maku Chibuki is in wind. There is a fire and then there's a wind fire that lets you search for the other two. Um, and that one also gives your uh, at 11 characters ability to use, use their abilities as if they had haste. This one is a mill. Mill 1. Dull mill 1. Got Chocobo Eater. Um, monster comes in. Uh, remove a cost 2 forward until it's gone. Yuna, Cloud of Darkness, uh, Break of Monster, Dodge, new Dodge backup, hasn't, that's the first one since I think this one, or, but, uh, allows you to cycle, discard draw, and Saws gets some benefits from it, Graph, pay with all Earth CP, Break of Forward, Tomberry again, have a Hero Strago, Profile Strago. Um, reveal the top four cards, grab a Cat 6. Your standard uh, standard tribal grab a thing. Like the, um, the kites from the last set. Have a Hero Emperor. You can warp for just two, so it doesn't even have to be warping color. And when it comes in, and remove all cards in your opponent's break zone, so a free Mist Dragon, but without the card draw. Or, you know, free Matoya, no card draw, it literally just costs two and takes two turns. But could be good if your opponent's playing um, water, just to be ready to go and get rid of your opponent's break. Then, or you can uh, grab a four, any forward from your break zone and add it. The weapon again, Heiko. And a 9k wold that can only block, but can. And there's multiple walls in this set. There's the Tonberry suit, there's a Moogle suit, and all of those walls can um, and go towards the special cost, which is um, 1 forward 9k. Not a bad uh, 9k ping for literally just pitch at a wall not bad and it can't be reduced good card do that's the one that becomes an 8k when when the character activates a little bit 
Tricky. Larsa, Janai. Ramps. Back up. If you're on damage 5, it will break a 4 to cost 4 or more. It, not going to see play. At all. Uh, Garnet. Another warp. This time it's uh, Water Earth. Um, grab a summon. And if it comes in due to warp, you get a second summon. So you can get two summons off of Garnet. Warped in. Bomb. Um, control three fire back as bomb comes aboard. And deal 2k. Okay, and there's the uh, Moogle suit of wall. And if there are three different, if there are exactly three different elements among characters, you can search for a multi element board and add it to your hand. Okay, not too bad. Not the best, but the other wall is a little bit better. They have a Ice Ceramobius. There's actually a couple Ceramobius in this one. There's a, um, a Wind Backup. This one here. Uh, can't attack or block, and then has a bunch of action ability. Um, this is a legend. Oh, obviously, you know, 8k can't block, attack or block. But the uh, Aja Control Combat board gains 2k power. Dull two forwards. That allows you to move the your opponent's step out of the way. And then uh, make a you have an auto ability tax. Remove. Discuss that. Discuss Vincent. Nova Synthesis. I. Um, this could be relevant. It is. It's not just seven. It's Mobius. So there's um and also the weapons. Emerald weapon, ruby weapon, sapphire weapon. They're all Mobius. But uh, this uh, deals 4k to all forwards, and if you have. You only have five earth backups, so if you have five earth backups, you deal 8k. So, you have to be playing in order to get the 8k, which is going to be the more relevant ping. Uh, you'd have to be playing all all earth backups, which earth has got a lot of fixing with Tyro, Kate Sith, and Toto, and uh, there's some Sherlodas. So, you could play, you could still play multi element earth that Genova Synthesis. Death, buddy again. Little T. Guild Narch. Some of the worst artwork I've ever seen with those theater rhythm square thingies. Really bad. Um, but, uh... Comes in a field. Discard, you can discard one and break a Ford. Powerful ability. Good ability. Terrible, terrible, terrible art. Standard unit backup, white mage, one crack it, and uh, grab a multi element forward. Dollar. That's the lightning version of the uh, standard units. Yoga, discard a summon to gain two crystals. You have to be in fire and lightning. Deal 7k. Not too bad. Or just straight up break a forward. Yeah. Fires you to multi element. The so weapon, emerald weapon, if it's discarded, you pay one, plays it right onto the field. And it has a special. Leon wants rebels. Another water monster, sanctuary keeper. So during each player's turn, you get to choose a forward and activate it. So, um, that, um, goes along with, um, Dual Horns, the Dual Horn deck, where, um, Elise doesn't activate, and, uh, Maquis, and, and, you know, everything comes in dull. This can, uh, activate your Elise. Bad. Vanille, move opponent's card in the break zone from the game, and the summon tax. Edge uh, gets three, three, four k, five k pings.
Duke. Uh, break a doll forward if you paid with three or more different CP. Hero Foil Hilda. Uh, play a Scott. Mm, okay. And then, or choose a Cat 2 and put it in your hand. So Scott can come onto the field, or a Cat 2 can be returned. Legend Zidane. Zidane's in Fire Wind. Can't be blocked. So, Zidane things. Has haste. Can't be blocked by a Ford of cost 3 or more. Uh, you get to remove a card from the game. But your opponent does get a new card, so it doesn't get the upside of the Opus 3 Zidane, where it comes in for 3. And I can't see, I, I just can't see this replacing the, what is it, the O16? 16 to Zidane? That uh, 2 cost, when it comes in, you get to uh, remove a card from your opponent's top of your deck, their deck from the game, and you can play it any CP, where this one, you can pull the best card out of your opponent's hand, yes, but your opponent gets to draw a card and they have another card that you don't know. You get to know the rest of their hand, so there is that. Every card, um, lightning backup lets you grab a lightning character and, and give first strike to a character. Back to Sephiroth, Rydia. Uh, grab a summoner and one summon. Adam. Aerith, Behemoth. No, if it blocks, it discards. Elgo, Titus. Um, has a burst. Enters a field. You can return a four to its owner's hand or draw a card. Uh, the burst can be relevant. Six cost a little high for that. Tifa, Brave, Attack Twice, Pain, as long as you have three 10 characters, remove two characters from their player's break, and you get a card, so that's pretty good. You, one job Jabajito Cadet, so a new, uh, you can actually search for Ajito Cadet backups, so you can do some mana fixing if there's you no know, right stuff. By colors, so that kind of like how uh, North Stralink grabbed FFCC in other uh, other colors. And tomorrow, anytime fight, put the Mara in the break zone, deal it damage equal to Mara's power. Actually, it's not a fight, just straight up deal it damage. So if you can give it like plus K, it can kill a 10K. It's essentially a fight because the Mara definitely dies. But, uh, uh, discard two characters, two cat six, and play them onto the field. So only during your main phase, but you could literally use it as removal. Discard two, but essentially it's a it's a four cost. Come back in, break something of it, then uh, deal eight k damage. Alexander, a uh, play a win forward, get it free. Break a five cost or break a monster, and you get a card. And I haven't seen this one. Buffasaur. Uh, if an opponent board enters the field, you may deal it eight k, and you get a point of damage. Okay. Ash here uh, comes in, activate a forward, and you may return Ash to keep dropping that backup Ash in. Or you can choose to run multiple ashes. And so you can run that ash and you can run the six cost ash. So what you can do is you can have this ash, you know, activate something, then pick itself up and then drop the uh, six cost ash for the reduced cost. Just, you know, play around with your ashes. Last pack here. Got a Riku that can, uh, if you're doing a Cat 10, Riku can can produce any CP. So you can play 10 characters. If you have a Riku, you can play any color. Not quite as good as the um, 
Shinju, which is all your soiree cards can produce CP of any element. And not quite as good as that. Or Undead Princess. Uh, if it's on the field, break it, give it toward 4k. If it's in your if it's in your break zone, after that you can give an Earth Ward plus 2k. So even if you pitch it early, you, you can use it as combat trick from your break zone and give a Ward plus 2k. But it has to be during main phase, so it's not really a combat trick. You have to telegraph it. Parts. Uh, bury it, draw two cards. Nice little trade up for the two cost. Chimera. Character. You have to break one of your own characters to get a one cost 8k per turn. No. Make an 8k for free per turn. Stack. Warps in. Deals a forward 7k. And if it comes in with warp, it has haste first strike grave. So 9k haste first strike brave that's able to ping for seven not too bad hey hey hot eight hero foil hilda that's both boxes i got had full arts so hilda the princess from ff2 so that's the one that now is it playable not really i don't think any of the scots are good enough but some of the cat twos are all right but uh, happy to get a another full art. So two full arts and probably two release kits. Have a Brawled is FFCC. Um, something about guinea pig counters. Okay, so if it has a guinea pig counter, dull all the forwards opponent control, and it power becomes straight up becomes nine k. Okay, and then. If you mill yourself, if you exile five cards, give yourself a guinea pig counter. So literally, you can play him, give yourself a guinea pig counter, and then he's got 9k and um, does what? I mean, kind of what Zeromus does, but just pushes all your opponents forwards out the way. That's really good. Alright, liking that one. Emperor. Literally, its only ability is a special. The backup Ceramobius. That gives all your Mobius forwards 1k. Last. A better version of Chilinka from the last set. Uh, just straight up, if it's on the field at the end of your turns, gain a crystal. So, crystal generation. Um, maybe you won't need to play so many crystal backups. But uh, you've got your... Uh, is it La there was a Laswell with a crystal. There was a Snow with a crystal. Um, some of those ones from... 1917. And then obviously plays well with Glacella. Oh, yeah. Not a bad Waltrill. That's uh, initial pre-release. The full set will be out next week. On the 24th. I will probably... I will not have anything for that. I will not be in the country when the set comes out. I'll be about a month behind. But uh, look forward to seeing you. If I can open some of these boxes when I get back. See what other full arts I get. See what other legends I can get. And um, start working on um, playing some more games. Uh, got the Materia Cup coming up. I'm uh, scheduled to go to San Diego. Uh in june for that materia cup so i'm looking forward to that so i need to start getting in quite a few more games i think waters mono water is still probably going to be where it's at there'll be some avalanche stuff but avalanche didn't really get any support seven got some support but no avalanche support um cat six got some support uh, mobius ffcc got more support like ffcc needed more support but it got more support but uh i think mono water is still probably where you want to be especially with some of those new monsters the monsters are super powerful for that but uh we get to look at that in the future appreciate you joining me today have a great one